good after well good morning everyone um, I wanted to do a quick video I am Arlene um, those of you who may or may not know me and um, I'm just coming back from church and <clears throat> as I'm sitting in my car here I was thinking of a few things and you know 2019 is just a wonderful year it's the year that there will be a lot of expectations expect good things um, and especially those who are in Christ. And um, going to church today, it was so wonderful. I enjoyed myself, enjoyed the word. But one of the things that just really occurred to me is that I'm no longer just going to church just to go to church, you know, out of um, religious obligations. You know, a lot of us, we go to church because it's Sunday. Let me go get it in and get back home. But I'm in a place in my life now where I know I go to church to get that filling. It's like a filling station so that throughout the week I can disperse to others and tell them about the goodness of the Lord. Um, I can't tell you enough just the joy that I feel. Uh, there are no major tragedies going on in my life or anything like that. Um, I'm not broke. I, I'm not in a bad place. It's just a realization that the Lord is real and that and knowing him personally and I will encourage everybody anybody don't just go to church just to go to church just to get it in don't put Jesus in uh, don't compartmentalize the Lord where you're just you see him Sunday and then by the time you know you get out of church you're texting to get into something that will oppose what it is that you just went to church raising your hand and saying you believe um, I'll encourage you to um, establish your prayer life. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, any uh, these and thous. Just as simply, hey God, here I am. Um, wherever you are in your life, you just need to realize and believe that the Lord loves you no matter where you are, no matter what you have done. You can ask for forgiveness and move forward. Those of you who maybe were Christians and you fell off the bandwagon, um, just know that He's waiting on you. Don't be fooled and believe that there's all this these things you have to do first to get right because you're never going to get right. And we're in the last days. This is not a doom and gloom video, but we are in these days. If you look around and you look at all the crime and you look at, a, at the level of, of wickedness that is going on and you wonder, how could a person do that? Well, I have news for you. It's not a person doing that. That person is influenced by something that is dark in the world. Um, I'm not here to try to convince anybody and prove to anybody that Jesus is real or if he's alive, but because the word says, you know, if whoever is righteous, let him be righteous still. Whoever is unrighteous, let him be righteous still. But the Lord's still going to come back and God is still God. Um, but I'm just here to tell you, realize that when you go to church, the church is not a building. The church is you. You are the church. I am a snippet of the church. It is my life outside of church that matters. It's what you do outside of your life that matters. Don't think for one second that... Don't think it's coincidence. If you're unhappy, if you find that after you've gone clubbing, I used to be that girl. I loved going to the clubs. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Really. <laughs> but you know what? There are times after all of that, I'll come home and cry myself to sleep or just sad. You're wondering why you're unhappy. You're wondering why certain things are going on in your life, why there's turmoil. The word of God says to seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek him first and all things shall be added. It's not seeking a relationship first. It's not seeking a job accomplishment first. It's not seeking a position in the church. Because let's talk about that even in the churches. You know, we're going to church and we're so busy serving God. We don't have time for God. How does that happen? We're about positions. We're about being up in the pastor's face. We're about being in whoever else's face. We're about, oh, trying to get on the quiet, trying to get on the praise team. But that's not what it's about. The church is a fueling station. Well, the bottom line is we're supposed to be getting out there and talking to those who are lost, those who are broken, those who are hurt. How many people do we step by on the way to church, step over on the way to church, ignore somebody on the corner asking for a quarter on the way to God, to the house of God? Playtime is over, people. It's really time to wake up. 
there's plenty out there the the harvest is plenty but the laborers are few and I admit that for a while I was one of those people I was just going to church you know and sometimes I wasn't going to church I'm like I've been out all night I ain't going okay but I've been awakened I'm not a fanatic look at me come on now do I look like a fanatic no I'm not but what it is I am so happy that God has given me the opportunity to wake up and that my eyes can be opened to these last days and my goal is to tell people about the Lord Jesus to tell them about the goodness and the changes that he has made in my life to tell me how he's opened my eyes and removed me from situations that was not for me how I experience him as real is not an entity he's not a deity he's not a, a thing God desires to know you and all it takes is for you just getting by yourself and saying Lord here I am and he will help you and he'll bring people around you to help you don't think it's by chance that this video is coming to you if you are seeing this video today it's because probably you're one of the people that need to see it and if you don't know the Lord as your personal savior, all you have to do is confess your sins to him. Just let him know, Lord, I've sinned, I've done wrong, forgive me. I believe that you uh, raised, that Jesus died for me on the cross, you raised him on the third day. I desire to serve you in Jesus' name, period. Then you get around uh, other people. Christians that are truly Christian serving him in spirit and in truth because there's a difference some people have a title right and I always say they have a title they look like Christians but they're not the Word of God says you'll know them by their fruit pay attention to what people to people do now remember no one is perfect no Christian is perfect they will make mistakes but people who habitually live a certain way are habitually living just like the outside you can't tell the difference I'm sorry you're not a Christian Okay, you have a title. And the, the thing is, I always say, can you look at the picture of a fireplace and be warmed? Can you look at the picture of a meal and be filled? That is what it is. You can't just look like it. You, your substance, what you have on the inside, your fruit should be a beacon of light to others. And so my thing is, once you become saved, getting around Christians, realize that they too are still being healed and learning. But getting a church, get into a church, a word church where you can hear the word of God, where you can be, uh, get baptized, get the Holy Ghost, get the Holy Spirit, get the infilling, because the, the Holy Spirit will be your guide. Um, and I think that is really all that I have to say. All I'm saying to everybody is um, life is good. You know, being saved does not mean that, oh, now you live this boring life and you can't do this and that. I mean, now there are certain things that change with it. But I tell you, I enjoy my life. I go out. I do good things. I, I enjoy to the fullest. It's just that there's just certain things that I don't do anymore. Okay? And and I'm happy with that. Um, but anyway, have a wonderful Sunday enjoy your week enjoy your day and just remember that there's nothing that you do that is too bad that the Lord cannot forgive you of you can always start fresh you can always start new everyone has their New Year's resolution I'm gonna get a better body for the summer I'm gonna do this I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna eat more healthy I encourage you that your resolution should be knowing the Lord Jesus having a closer walk with him and it is just simple as just one step at a time. You, you go to him and he will do the rest. Thank you. Have a good day and have a wonderful week.